Um, and the first hot take, okay, to start off the segment is that the speed of your golf swing comes from your hands and arms, not your body. Everybody thinks that the speed is from the rotation and how much you're thrusting your body or jumping off the ground or the biggest term that we hear is using the ground, which is important. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. It is important. True. But you have to load into the ground properly and the takeaway mm -hmm. by pushing into the ground with your palms. Right. So let's talk about that. Why is the speed coming from your hands and arms and not your body? Hot take. Because if you don't have the proper connection of your claws pushing and pulling and doing the proper twisting against the handle, that connection Oof. with your arms away from the body is like your hammer. Okay. Mm. So imagine if I had a hammer and I lever it back. Okay. This is effective, right? Mm -hmm. I can then snap back down, hit the nail. Which is the ball. Yeah. Correct. Nail, huh? So if basically, let's say that again, if I take the club, get my grip right, take it back like this, then if I use proper lower body movement and footwork, you mm -hmm. know, start with feet and knees, head tilts back, we get the proper, like, you know, claw connection back to pre-impact and we okay. proper deliver and we're good. Okay. Yeah. But if I take um, the backswing and I don't have proper claw connection, mm. right? Let's say I'm just kind of floating back like this. <laughs> I don't care how perfect your lower body movement is or your body movement. Try creating speed with this. You ain't hitting that nail. You, you can. Okay. <laughs> here's what we got. Right. You ain't it's like, that nail. yeah. So it's like taking your hammer back and going like, okay, again, here's the face of the hammer. So it's like, I take it back and I'm like, like this, like, right. okay, let's hit the nail. It's like, yeah. wait a minute. No, no, no. Right. This ain't going to work. So it's like, you have to properly, you know, get your claws on the club, get the connection from your hands and arms to the club, basically in a sense to the ground as well, because yes. it's all like when you push down against the handle, it does kind of sink you down all the way from your feet into the ground more right. because the pressure's there. Yeah. Like you're pushing. So, <laughs> but, um, that's why tour players start their swing that way. That's why. Yeah. That, I mean, that's them. it. And then too, like, you know, when you think of the body, like, Yes, if the more if you can get the um, proper torque or like proper lever of the club back, you can lag it. Then you're isolating your body movements to be able to again like then if you open your hips up more, but then you counteract it by getting the club head to lag more. Mm. Then there is more of a spring effect. But if you go to you know certain limits, then also the consistency is becoming a big variable too. So you, so you can use the body to help facilitate you can, the spring effect. You can, effect. but if you don't have the proper <laughs> connection is what we're trying to say. Is yes. that like it's more important when it comes to distance that you have your claws and you have your proper like lever lag and release <clears throat> or proper hinge lag and, you know, release, however right, you want to say it. Uh -huh. Like that's it though. Like you have yes. to have that unit to be effective. Because right. if you create speed with the club face in the wrong way, like if the ball's here and I'm like this, and it's like, how do I create speed? It's like, oh, I can go this way. Now, how do I create speed this way? It's like, there's too much of like a yeah, there's too alteration. Many, too many alterations yeah, yeah. and too many manipulations that you are gotta being made. You got to stay on the 45, basically, well, to create maximum speed. Basically. The, the whole That's idea, it. and we always talk about this, is you have to arrive here at pre-impact. Right. You got to be on the 45, to. Yes. and you have to get your takeaway, your pre- and post-impact right. You get those three points right, right, you can then generate speed from there effectively. But otherwise, if you're not, you're not going to be able to. Right, exactly. It's plain and simple. Plain and simple, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, 